maybe someone out there needed this video and I hope that it helps you because you deserve happiness okay we all deserve happiness we don't deserve to be sitting in the house sad and depressed over the bullshit that people do to us okay what up world it's your girl tisha and i'm back with another video today i'm going to be talking about you know these narcissists it seems like they are on the rise we are uh, dealing with them and ain't nobody got time so if you are somebody who's trying to figure out if you're dealing with a narcissist if you want to just know what a narcissist is how to avoid narcissists things like that well you came to the right a video so stay tuned and let's just get right into it okay make sure you like comment and subscribe to your girl yeah say and comment down below let me know who you be dealing with drop the t okay okay so first what is a narcissist now to me there's like two different types you have someone who is clinically diagnosed with narcissism because it is actually a personality disorder and then you have like your your average just self-centered narcissist that you just deal with on a regular basis but to me they're kind of similar because they have similar traits i just feel like one is clinically diagnosed because it's really like they really really can't control it and then you have like your everyday average joe type of person who just a asshole period so the textbook definition of a narcissist like someone with narcissistic personality disorder is the pursuit of gratification from vanity or egotistic admiration of one's ideal idealized self-image and attributes so that's basically if you don't really understand what i'm saying that's basically someone who gets pleasure um from like admiration or like they they play off of just more material or physical attributes so they kind of have a need for admiration or want to feel more than or higher up than people like they feel like they're just better in all aspects they're smarter they're better they're faster they're stronger that type of person um someone with narcissistic personality disorder or just your everyday narcissist they are very self-centered they lack empathy they don't have healthy relationships they have an inability to handle criticism so if you critique them in any type of way they may lash out you know cuss you out feel some type of way turn people against you because they carry this victim mentality with them even if they do the worst things to you like literally they can do the worst things to you and you do nothing to them they are the victim in this situation they also have like this sense of entitlement like they deserve this or that or whatever and they just have a disregard for people's feelings like i said they lack empathy so they don't really they're not really aware of the fact that they are doing something to hurt you this is for those who are like diagnosed like they it's really something missing up here um to where they gen genuinely lack empathy for your everyday joe it, they may have went through things in their life that just made them that way or they could just be that way in general i don't know they could be really have the disorder but they just you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying but yeah they have this sense of entitlement they lack empathy so they can hurt your feelings and it's just like okay like so move on and it's like no no i'm not just gonna move on i'm i'm hurt you hurt me 
the key though to dealing with a narcissist is to to not take it personal and i know i know i know you like girl how am i supposed to take it personal well the thing is it has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them so you just can't take it personal you just got to do what's best for you and move forward in the situation because it's really not going to go anywhere you can sit down and have a whole chit chat powwow oh woe is me you hurt me blah 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 but you're not going to get nowhere with narcissists because they really genuinely don't feel like they did anything wrong and if they do show like the slightest amount of empathy it's kind of like fake it's more of like to say well you're not perfect Eva like you could have did this or that or that and it's like what like all right cool whatever here's some like fake apologies that a narcissist is going to give you comment down below if you've heard any of these from someone i'm sorry you feel that way what <laughs> what i'm sorry you took it that way i didn't take it anyway baby baby sis baby niece daughter sir son I didn't take it anyway. This is what you did, okay? You made me do it. Has a guy ever told you that though? That is, ladies, I'm sorry, but first of all, there's no but, you just are. Ain't no buts, ain't no cuts, ain't no coconuts. You either sorry, or you're not there's no in between I'm sorry that I made you feel that way now if I made you feel some way then you say I'm sorry I made you feel this way it was not my intention to make you feel that way or if it was your intention I was hurt because of this and this and that and that is why I did it and I apologize because I should have never behaved in that manner we talk we chit chat forgiveness forgiveness and then you can say and I just want to let you know that you hurt me when boom that sounds so much better than I'm sorry but okay can we just move on a uh, no no and if it's anybody like me out there I need to have a conversation like we need to chit chat about this now after we chit chat about it and I feel like it's squash and you continue to do whatever you do or say whatever you want to say and all that that's when I gotta just move on back okay protect yourself okay people protect yourself okay Okay. A lot of times you don't even know you're dealing with a narcissist. Some of them are just loud, obnoxious. They write up front in your face. You can tell they're a narcissist and it is what it is. But then you have like your covert narcissist, which is someone who is probably more introvert. And not saying that uh outgoing person can't like have these the same thing going on. But a lot of times you find with like a covert um, a covert narcissist, which is a narcissist who is more introverted. They, I don't want to say it's sneaky because it's not being sneaky. But it's like, you don't know that you're being manipulated or that you're being taken advantage of until the damage is already done. So... You go on with this relationship, and by a relationship, I mean a friendship. Um, it could be a relative. It could be um, a romantic relationship. It doesn't have to be just romantic. When I say relationship, I mean any type of relationship. So you could have gone through this relationship and not even really 
been aware that you're being manipulated or taken advantage of because what a narcissist likes to do is they like to use the things that they know about you against you so they will take any feelings of guilt you have any feelings of sadness or grief or uh your beliefs um, and they use them against you to kind of create like this confusion around you. And a lot of times you really don't know until the damage is just done and you're hurt. And then you take a look back and you're like, damn. Damn, like I let that shit happen. Like I really let that shit happen. I can't like and I feel like for the most part a lot of us just have been there like we've I think we've all just dealt with some type of narcissist in some type of way and you feel stupid at first but you just gotta learn that it's really not you it's not you it's them it's whatever's going on up in their mental is whatever they've traumatic uh events they've dealt with um it, it's it's them it's not you. <laughs> it's really not you. They use these things to take advantage of you to and manipulate you into thinking that you know like you tripping like and it's not you. It's not you. And a lot of the times like when people think of a narcissist, they think of like this like this blatant thing, like something that's really out in the open. But it's not always like that. Like I said, you can deal with certain narcissists, like a covert narcissist, who, you know, will over time, you know, plant these seeds. And then they just, it grows. It grows. And then bam. Shit hits the fan. The shit hits the fan. But we shall overcome, okay? Someday. Someday. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now, now that we've discussed what a narcissist is, how they use your beliefs and your yourself against yourself, basically. I'm gonna talk about now how to get rid of a narcissist or how to remove a, t a narcissist from your life or how to just move forward from dealing with a narcissist. The first thing I want to say, and it is the most important in my book for any relationship that you have in your lifetime, is to make clear boundaries and stick to them. A person who is a narcissist does not know boundaries. And they probably have never had to deal with boundaries. So to make clear boundaries that uphold to your values, um, what you feel is important, um, space, anything is very very important so you have to have these boundaries because if you don't they just gonna skate all on your ass skate on on your ass and they're gonna keep people just people in general you need boundaries with or they're gonna keep taking advantage of you so make boundaries stick to them make them known that's another thing you gotta make these boundaries known you can't just sit at home and be like all right I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this, so I'm not going to let this happen. But then don't kind of implement it. It's like saying what you're not going to accept for your, from your children, and they do it, and then you'd be like, oh, okay, well, next time don't do it. And then they do it again, it's like, next time, that's the last time. No. From the gate, I'm not accepting this. And it's either you respect me or I got to move forward without you. The next thing is to either remove yourself or create a healthy distance. You can either completely remove yourself. I'm not a fan of ghosting. 
not a fan of ghosting but i'm also aware that sometimes it's necessary because you can sit and talk to somebody and tell them like this is what i don't like this is what i don't appreciate this is what i feel like we can work on this is what i feel like you can work on and all these things and then people still won't respect your boundaries and i think at that point you just kind of got to remove yourself so if your point and your feelings are not being reciprocated and respected i i see no problem in ghosting somebody because that that's a boundary that's a boundary right there stop feeding into their desire for attention a narcissist thrives off of attention they thrive off admiration and things like that. So you stop giving them attention like when you create that healthy distance or you remove yourself completely. And a lot of, most of the time a narcissist, they will do things like turn other people against you. I just find it funny because it's like, why are you fucking like this? Like, why are you like this? Like, what is wrong with you? Get it together. But yeah, stop feeding into stop feeding into them. And that could bring you more drama. But I feel like in that sense, this, this is circumstantial. So you got to know who you're dealing with in order to implement all of these or some of these or... Yeah, I'm saying. And another thing is to advocate for yourself. Advocate for yourself. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for your rights. Okay? Stand up for your rights. Don't let nobody walk all over you. Don't let nobody step, take advantage of you and step all over you. Step into your power and own your shit. And let them other know that you're not dealing with it. Period. It ain't nothing that got that, y'all. I don't know what's wrong with me. This is supposed to be a serious video. But I can't help myself. Don't take it personal. Don't. Take it personal. Okay? Don't take it personal. Because it's not you. It's me. Just joking. It's not you. It's them. So don't take it personal because it don't got nothing to do with you and it's everything to do with them. Okay? Okay. Okay. So with that being said, that is the end of this video because I don't want to make it too long because we don't want to give no narcissist that much time. Okay? Y'all, I'm just getting home from work. I'm tired. Maybe someone out there needed this video. And I hope that it helps you because you deserve happiness, okay? We all deserve happiness. We don't deserve to be sitting in the house sad and depressed over the bullshit that people do to us, okay? We don't. We really, really don't. We deserve to be happy skipping outside in the sunshine and flowers and watching them bloom and stuff, okay? Here in the birch tree. We deserve that. We deserve to, you know, go out and just have a ball, have a blast, right? So, Tish was here to help you through okay boo so take the information as you will and do with it as you need okay and i love you take care of yourself you deserve happiness you deserve the best okay okay don't you forget it all right don't you forget it